that's the lineup that Ricky Romero will face as he won the last matchup versus Pavano and the Twins allowing a run and striking out seven and pitching into the seventh inning. The one two from Ricky fastball got him swinging right down at the knees and 94 on that gas. Ricky back to the plate a little half swing going through as Kubel he's down on strikes with that tag worst team in the major leagues ground ball to third glove nicely by McDonald you got your double play Tabby five four three is John McDonald starts it tapper back to the mound Ricky can freeze the runner and throw to first base for that first out of the inning. Row two from Ricky off speed got him swinging. The 1 1 grounded back to the mound. Ricky knocks it down. Now he's got a sprint. Gets to it and fires to get the out. Ricky Romero on the seat of his pants right after throwing. Brings the 1 2. And got him swinging. Heat up and away. Yeah, I felt like he was probably embarrassed after that one. This pitch is perfect at 97. How about that from Ricky Romero as he picks up his fifth strikeout on the night? Span grounds one left side past to diving McDonald. For a two out single and Minnesota fans, they are ready to cheer at even a single here in the sixth inning. Standing ovation from some of the fans as Span breaks up the no no. And almost see that grip on the baseball right through the glove. Fastball got him swinging. So Ricky Romero now with six strikeouts. And very close on the check swing as well. So 2 and 0. Oh. Ground ball back to the hill. Ricky knocks another down and gets his out. So Ricky Romero is infielder number five tonight for the Blue Jays. Breaking ball got him looking. Front door finding that inside edge. Kubel didn't like the call, but Ricky Romero comes up with quite a pitch for out number one. Yeah, just freezes Kubel. Just a minor shift in the infield. Did he go through? Yes, he did. Home plate umpire takes it himself. Jeff Kellogg says the bat went through, and Justin Morneau knew it.